For me, innovation and taking risks is a lot of fun. I mean, every time we touch something that hasn't been done before, we understand it might not be doable. And out of the, the five things that finally work, you probably chased a hundred things down the road that didn't work. And that's fun. And it's fun because if I touch something and, 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 and have a hypothesis how to solve a problem, there's two outcomes. You know, either it works, that's great, so I feel enlightened, or it doesn't learn, so I'm going to learn something about why it doesn't work. And that learning effect is, is fantastic, so I, I emerge as a better person. Uh, so for me, uh, doing something that is clearly can be done is much, much less interesting because there's no risk associated with that. Well, so as a roboticist, I've dedicated my life to make life better through mechanical devices that interact with people. You spend a lot of time building robots for nursing homes, trying to understand how we can take care of elderly people and assist nurses with, with robotic intelligence and robotic strength. And we found a number of ways of being successful. For example, we build a, a guide that can guide elderly people through a nursing home and walk them from one location to another and exercise with them, which is really an important function because most of the people spend a lot of time on, in front of television sets. Now, I think the automotive sector is an obvious uh, op option for us roboticists to have a real big impact. We lose something like 42,000 people every year in traffic. It's a huge number, just in the US. To put this into proportion, 42,000 people is about as many people as the United States lost in the Vietnam War. So we're losing an entire Vietnam War every year on our roads. Uh, to put robotic technology at use to save lives and make people more productive is an obvious thing for us to do, and I think it's really going to change society.